Hello. <laughs> I think we're alive. I never know. I say hello, but it doesn't actually say I'm alive. But I am alive. <laughs> but I don't know whether I'm alive on live on, on Facebook. So, because <laughs> all I get when I come on is it. Oh, there we are. It says we're alive. It's just like I'm talking and my mouth is not moving at the same time as my voice. <laughs> Very off putting. <laughs> so yes what an interesting day or morning i've had today um yes i i went to bed quite early last night in fact it was about quarter past 11 which is very early because normally it's about three in the morning it's a trot thing and uh and i did a tiny bit of meditation well tried to <laughs> So tired, and then I read my angel prayer. Hello, whoever's joined me. Then I read my angel prayers by uh, Kyle Gray. Lovely, lovely book. I read a chapter a night, and uh, and we've been talking about um, the law of grace, law of attraction. Oh, the angels of grace. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's been fascinating. It's a lovely little book, and it's nice to read a, a chapter a day. And now I've got half the. It's in two sections, one about all these different types of angels and the different angel prayers you can say each day to bring things into you. And then, oh, whoever it was definitely isn't interested in angels. <laughs> um, and then I'm now started, well, t tonight we'll be start, we start looking at all different individual angels. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but then I kept waking up and going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep. And it got to about eight o'clock this morning. And I thought, should I get up? Should I get up? <laughs> and it was I was warm and snug in bed. So I thought, no, and the alarm is set off for nine o'clock. This is really, really funny because I'm talking and my mouth isn't at the same time. But I'm just going to go with it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. I think it's Facebook because so many people are on live at the moment. You just can't cope with it. Um, so my alarm went off at nine and I thought, yes, I'll get up. I'll do a little lie here. And I did my grounding, <coughs> excuse me, my grounding and protection meditation. And next thing I knew it was 10 o'clock. Uh, whether I went back to sleep again or I went into a deep meditation because goodness knows what happened between 10 past 9 and 10 o'clock. I don't know. Some, something happened in my life in 50 minutes. Maybe I was astroplaning. <laughs> so, um, so I then got up and I came down and potted around and turned the computer on because, as you know, I'm not taking my phone up to bed with me anymore. Um, and I'm being quite strict and I'm finding it's actually quite good because what I was doing was I was going into bed at night and even though it was like two in the morning, I was still playing games or checking the internet. And then, of course, my alarm phone would go beep, beep with all the messages very early in the day. And it was just like, I'm not getting a break, not getting a break and I need a break. So um, I now, that's why I've now got an alarm clock and my phone is kept downstairs in, in the lounge by my here where I sit this is my little office you should see papers thrown all over the place looks like a hurricane I've got two boxes here one full of toy uh, of um, well the two boxes full of toys um, the unicorn box is upstairs in my bedroom the my bedroom is my storeroom <laughs> now very constitutive for a good night's sleep but you know living in a one bedroom flat <laughs> There is no storage, so you have to, you know, yeah. <laughs> I suppose if I didn't have my healing room, life would be better. But if I didn't have my healing room, I think my daughter or my son would be living here now. <laughs> so it is really, no, it is classed as, well, they can class it as, uh, uh, I don't know what they, they class it as a two two bedroom flat. But um I think everyone who comes here are couples and they sleep upstairs in the big massive bedroom up in the attic and the other bedroom they use as a dining room. Well, I use it's a healing room. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, not that you know it to work from home when you're renting, but they know about it. In fact, when I set up the room and the girl came over, Safa, a lovely, beautiful girl, beautiful girl, um, she came in and because uh, we, ha we ha I had a few problems and uh, and I said, well, there's a problem with the window and there's a problem with the radiator. So she came and had a look and it was like, um, 
eek, it's in this room. She came, she goes, oh, what do you do? So I said, tarot reading and stuff. And I said, well, I know I'm not meant to work from here. She goes, I'm not the manager. And can I have a reading, please? <laughs> so she says, <laughs> we like you as a, as, as, as a renter. You're very good. And as long as the neighbours don't complain, she says, you know, the manager doesn't need to know what you're doing here. And then another person from the rent agency came and had reading as well. <laughs> I go, this is really nice. Ron, can we have some healing, please? So they said, what the manager doesn't know, doesn't matter. But yes, and, and the energy at the moment, oh, you should, I was going to go live or we'll do a, a film of, of my room because at the moment on my healing couch, you can't move because it's just got teddies stuck on the couch. <laughs> so I was going to go and do a, a show to say, this is the healing room, this is what it looks like, blah, 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 so people can get an idea of where I sit when I sit on the floor. Yeah, I sit on the floor. So much more fun um, in front of my um, altars and do all the Reiki teddies and unicorns and pandas and elephants now. <laughs> Reiki, Reiki bear has just extended its range. So I then came downstairs and uh, hello, whoever's joined me. Um, I'm on my laptop, so I don't know who's because normally when I do live on my phone, phone. I can see who's watching me, but on the, when you're live on here, you've got no idea. So unless someone says a comment, if you want to or not, doesn't really matter. And like I said, at the moment, my mouth and my voice is not together, but I think it's because there's so many people on live at the moment. And uh, yeah, just going with the flow at the moment. So um, I was came on, quickly checked my phone in case there was any family emergency. <laughs> No, I could do much about it, stuck in isolation with this chest infection. So I thought I could just send love and healing. And, uh, oh, and talking about sending love and healing, as a collective, I want everyone to think of my lovely friend Donna today. So if you've got five seconds and just go Donna love, Donna healing, that would be perfect. That's all you need to do. It's the intention. Okay, so that would be fantastic because, uh, yeah. That will be brilliant. So Donna love, Donna healing. My heart to Donna's heart and from my Donna's heart to my love. Okay, so, oh, I've got to four. I still don't know who it is. You need to say hello to me because I'm on my laptop. I'm not on my phone. And when I'm on the phone, I could, you all come on. But here, this is, I, I wish they would tell you who you're talking to when you're on live. Um, so I came on and flicked through my phone. Luckily, there was no family emergency going on. All's well in the world of Julie, Mad Julie. Um, and then suddenly it clicked up that Holly, my lovely friend from Cardiff, had was experimenting this morning with this new chat facility one has. I don't know if you've seen it, that you can create a chat room on, on, on Facebook. So she decided she'd have a go with it. So we joined her just for half an hour. Hello, Anastasia. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. And uh, so we... <laughs> Went on for half an hour. It started at about 20 to 11 and we've 20 to 10. Sorry, just just after 20 to 10. And we've literally come off at one o'clock. So for a chat that was meant to last for half an hour. I mean, you think I can talk? You think I can talk? Boy, oh boy, can these girls talk. But it was just awesome. We were talking. Oh, it was all spiritual things. Well, all sorts of things, but mainly spiritual and about raising up our energy and sending out good vibes and and uh, a good vibe is saying how many people have survived the virus rather than keep saying this many people have died this many people have died i mean that's naked that's down down here and what you want to do is wow look how many people have survived look how many people survived and look how much people have grown and appreciated the lockdown and all the freedom and things like that and look all the positive side that now we're allowed we can go out and socialize in the park and think hi terry darling do you know i am loving loving the photographs of the flowers in your garden you have got some beautiful colors and some beautiful flowers so please please for someone who lives on a first floor flat who doesn't have a garden please 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 share, keep sharing, keep sharing, Terry, because I love your pictures and it means so much because it brightens brightens me up because I 
got no garden. So I, I love having other people's gardens being shown to me because, yeah, it means a lot. So thank you, Terry, darling. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, chat room works, is it? Well, we'll have to do a chat room then, Anastasia, and, and invite some friends round and have a little chat. And then we can all have a talk because at the moment this is just me chatting. I'm waiting for people to message, but the, the the chat room today worked really well. And like I said, it was only meant to be half an hour. Two hours later, she said, I think we need to go because they're two little boys, age three and six. Oh, adorable. I think they needed their lunch. And we landed up with having a card pull all at the end. So I then pulled a card for my precious Holly. So, yes. And we're talking about a goddess retreat to India. Did I mention... God, it seems ages ago, February and March, when I was in Goa in India. And, uh, oh, my God. And I said, yes, it's lovely. So I think we might do a goddess retreat to India. Oh, that would be so awesome. 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 So, um, yeah, come with us, Terry. I'd love you to come with me to India. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Imagine you and me, Terry, in India. What a laugh it would be. It'd be awesome awesome blessings to you terry but yes please keep posting your wonderful pictures of your garden because uh, of the plants because the colors um it shows they've been planted with your love with your love because they're actually showing how uh, you can see the energy from the flowers it's it's beautiful so yeah yeah so i've only come on very shortly because <laughs> it's not a normal mad julie because i have a massive list of things to do today i mean it doesn't look much nine but each thing is going to take me ages to do and as you know i have problems with joey at moment so i have to write everything down as soon as i think i've got to do it i write it down because it's the only way i get things done um but i'm so glad i've got no one coming to visit me today because the my lounge is looking the pits because there's paper everywhere there's boxes of toys everywhere there's wrapping paper everywhere because I was doing that live and telling everyone about our new pandas and elephants. Well, by the time I come off off my live, four pandas had been sold. So it's like, oh, quick, let's get them packed up and down to the. Oh, no, but did you see? Uh, you did. You see the teddy bears. Uh, you see the teddy bears. Uh, was that? <sighs> I'm not sure. Uh, was that the roller coaster teddy bear? I'm not sure. Someone sent me a wonderful video of the teddy bears on a roller coaster. Is that the one you're talking about? I don't know. As you can see, oh look, I've just because we were talking about the, look, they got a bit well, a bit lopsided, and here's cuddles. So ever since last week when I or two weeks gosh it's nearly two weeks ago or was it last week when I had my little bit breakdown and I had cuddles here and he's not gone back upstairs to bed he just sits here so he keeps making uh, appearances in all the videos at the moment for Reiki Teddy he's was it they face bomb hello Reiki Teddy's face bombed again <laughs> Did you see the teddy bear? I'm not sure which teddy bears it is, so um, we'll have to. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not very technical at all. <laughs> As you can see, my mouth and my voice and my movements is all very slow, and I don't know what to do about this. But hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Yes, me, I sent it. Yeah, so it was you who sent the roller coaster of the teddy. Bear. It was brilliant, and I posted it all over the place because I loved it. It was brilliant. <laughs> Yes, I wondered who it was. Yes, it was lovely. Thank you, Anastasia. Yeah, I did get it. But I, but because of Joey, um, no sympathy required. Some people know, some people don't. I have a little thing living in my head, and uh, I don't. You know, it's me. But I think that's what makes me mad. It makes me forgetful. Um, it makes me look as if I'm drunk. But I'm not. <laughs> makes me um yeah I, I don't know whether i've got alzheimer's coming on or whether it's joey because i go to uh, uh go to um open the fridge to put the um something else in there or i go to open the fridge looking for for a newspaper or something or 
Um, I'm not that bad now that I need a pee and suddenly um, I go to the wrong room. I'm not that bad, but um, yeah. And I think whether, we're, and I don't know whether it's because I've got so much on at the moment and my head is full of things, or whether it is Joey or whether I have got Alzheimer's coming on. I know I shouldn't joke about it, but um, I go and say things. I'm halfway through a sentence and I forget what I'm saying. And uh, my daughter is quite worried about it now. She says, you're getting worse, mum. You really need to go and get it checked out. So <laughs> I go, yeah, all right. But it's, if, it's, if she doesn't write it down, it doesn't get done. So if Anna's watching this, next time you come, write it down, ring doctor about Joey, because if it's not written down, I won't get done it. But um, yeah, because uh, at the moment I can't go and get an MRI to see whether he's grown or not. I mean, I've grown enough, all the sweets and things I've expanded, so I wouldn't be surprised if Joey's expanded as well. But if it is, it is. There's not a lot they can do. They can't take it out. So yeah, I just have to live with it. So, <laughs> oh, bless you, bless you, Anastasia. And I think of you as well. And I did, and I think I did manage to um, the other day put your shared your um, electric wheelchair link again. Um, I'll try and do that every week. I can't do it every single day. <clears throat> and like I said, <clears throat> July or August, probably August, uh, I'll, I might, uh, I'll be able to, because of business rules and regulations, we'll try and get a, a cuddly toy for you, which you can then auction off and try and raise some money for your wheelchair as well. Um, but I think it's looking more like August now, because I think someone else, no offence, because I have a list, is written down. So I think you'll be August when you can have a a, a, a toy to auction. So <laughs> I try and help. I try and help. And I have a meeting at 2.30 with someone called Erica. Not sure what it's about. Well, angelic life paths, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, I, someone was raising some money the other day for a charity and there was all these things to bid for. So, um, and they said, all oh, these items haven't had a bid on it. So I went, all right, I'll bid 12 quid for it. <laughs> Don't know what I was bidding for. And apparently I won. This girl called Erica messaged me. Uh, bless her. I don't know what I've done with it now, actually. Um, oh, it's life coaching. I've got a life coaching. And she sent me all these forms to fill in. Current, my current situation no, one one being poor, ten being fully achieved, and some have got blanks. <laughs> it's a family significant to other zero. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear! But contribution to charities is ten, donations is nine, and my time. Well, I put nine um, rather than ten because I don't actually spend actual physical time doing stuff for charity but I do a lot of work for people via this way and uh, <laughs> it's a career job promotion I left that blank because I work for myself and relationships with my other staff members no because I haven't got any staff members unless you want to talk about cuddles and then it's 10 and then it said play time fun I said eight and it's got these others and I put nothing <laughs> I don't do anything and then I had a life coaching form to fill out with all these questions topic health what is important to you when you consider your health wealth what constitutes as a wealthy life for you family what and who are important to you and then relationship who is important to you contribution how important is your contribution to the world god I mean these are some really deep questions spiritual what is important to you as far as your growth? Well, that that was that was quite a big essay. <laughs> Career job. Um, also, it says hours spent in doing these. Well, some of these have got absolutely nothing written it because I don't spend enough doing it. But um, career job, 80% of my time. Actually, it's probably nearly 99% of the time is working on my career and my job. And 1% is on myself. And then playtime, what do you do for fun? I put gym, friends, skittles, musicals, TV, cinema. I so miss the gym. And what do you lack? Uh, what areas do I want to lose and give up? So I put stop procrastinating and start focusing on jobs rather than flitting from one job to another and not completing things. <laughs> That's why I have a list now and I can work my way through lists to try and get more focused. 
<laughs> and then I had another one here. Oh, this is interesting. Life coaching specifics. So it looks like I'm having an angelic life coaching session at half past two. I got it fast. And it says health. What's um thinking gate there? Leave blank boxes you don't feel, you know, some of them. It says health. What's important to you when consider your health? And it says diet, yes, fitness, yes, relaxation, yes. What constitutes as a wealthy life for you? A good salary, good savings, investments, I don't invest. Family, what's important? And it says about significant other. So I put, don't have one, but would like one. <laughs> um, this girl, Erica, she sent me over because I've got this session with her. It's, a, it's one I bid for. Um, and she sends you through these this charts a new question and in fact it was a bit of a kick up i was doing this at about 10 o'clock last night no it was 11 o'clock no about 10 yeah about 10 o'clock because i finished about it and uh and because i'm having this session so you fill out these questions because she then goes through it and then she helps you work out what bit we can do what strategies we can do and how we can change your life to work on the stuff that is overtaking your life and and stuff that's not, you know, that's important to you and how we can bring it up. But I sussed it out. I just need to write a timetable and put 9 till 10, 10 to 11 reading, 11 to 12 writing the book. Because I wrote to her afterwards and said to her, I suddenly realised that all the things that I love doing, I've got about 15 books here that I'm sitting here that I want, I want to read. It's part of my education programme and they're all absolutely fascinating. It's like a book on wand history and ascensions to the dragons and an ascension up. Oh, oh they're, they're all such weird books. Um, and I want to read those. And then also my own book that I'm writing, which I haven't touched since I've been here. And I've been here, well, into June. So I've been here 10 months. So in about a year... I haven't touched my book. It's on dragons and the five elements. And I just don't have time for it. Well, I'm not allocating time. And this is what I've decided that um, I need to be a bit more constructive. And also um, I need to set up boundaries um, because I always, uh, as you know, I work from my heart and I like to uh, help people. And, I'm, and I feel um, I want to, I like to be there and I've always had an open door policy which I don't mind and I love but it's getting a bit too much so I always say to people you know if you need want to have a chat about something anytime day or night and that's why the phone goes off at, at midnight um oh I don't know what's happened there um that's why the I don't know if you can still see me I've sort of frozen um so about midnight, someone will message me and they're having a bit of a crisis. What, you know, I'm going through this. What angel can I, can I talk to? You know, midnight. <laughs> I go, hang on a minute. And because I'm in bed, I have to flip, flip onto Google to find out because up in my bedroom, I don't have any of my books because the bedroom is just, um, it's a place to sleep and meditate and rest apart from having boxes of in there so that's that's my my bedroom sleeping bit so all my books and all my knowledge and stuff and all my information is down here and the only book i have upstairs is the book i'm currently reading which is the angel Pair, prayers by gahal gray so that's the only book i have upstairs by my bed and uh and because it's angel prayers and i like to do my work with my angels and so on and so forth so um so I'm now on my phone at night, midnight. What angel do I need? Or what spirit guide? Or can you give me some advice? So it's like, oh, God, hang on, Google. Right, you need to talk to Archangel Raphael. So how do I do that? You know, it's one o'clock in the morning, you're still talking. And it's just like, well, I'm working here. So I go, well, you know, and it's one o'clock, I'm in bed trying to get to sleep. And they go, thank you very much. I'm feeling really good now. And I go, yeah, you just had an hour of my time. Lots of advice. You go off feeling good. And it's like, so I, um, I, I've decided that what I do is, yes, I love talking to friends, um, but I've got to start being strict and say, yes, I'll talk to you for about five minutes, but if you're then going to ask me advice and to help me grow, that is part of my mentoring side of the business. 
And so I'm going to have to start charging people or just say, yeah, I can talk to you for 10 minutes and then be really strict and have a timer and say, after 10 minutes, we can carry on, but I'm mentoring you now. I mean, it's okay if we're just having a chin wag. You know, I, I won't charge you for that if we're just talking about, you know, the weather and holidays and things like that. But as soon as people start talking to me and wanting advice and how to meditate and how to do this, this is that's mentoring. And so I have to now start. This is why I decided that after I did this message to Erica and doing all this and decide that, you know what, I know I've done it in the past, but I now boundaries. And this is why I've stopped taking my phone up to my bed. So um, so when I go to bed, I don't have the phone. So that's it. Until I get up the next morning, boundaries. Mad Judy's drawing on boundaries. And the last sort of four days, it's actually been really good um, because it means I've got time to myself. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm on call 24 hours a day because... It's not just the UK. I have people messaging me from Australia, from America, and of course of the time span as well. So this is why when the phone does go off in the middle of the night, it's often my clients in Australia or, you know, uh, sorry, well, you know, because of the time difference between Australia and America, because I've got clients all around the world. Me, international, my Julie. <laughs> so it's like I've got to set up boundaries. So I'm going to be putting a note out that I don't want to be cruel to yeah, then you feel rubbish because I'm not getting a good night's sleep, Anastasia, because when that person has, I've spoken to them about one o'clock in the morning, I'm lying awake there thinking, well, I haven't given their full information. And then I'm thinking what I can do. So the next day I go on and I sort of message them all and go, by the way, carrying on from last night's information, if you do this, then maybe then after you called in Archangel Raphael for your healing, you might need to call in Archangel um um michael for some support and strength and so so but they've gone off at one o'clock feeling really happy and it's not that you know i have got this shell around me but i'm still thinking about my clients because i think of all my clients all the time and how i can service them um take my phone to bed for me stop taking your phone to unless it's your emergency phone and and you need it for so if you take ill at night so you can contact someone and and in theory um I should really take my phone with me. Um, I'm thinking of getting one of those alarm systems. You know, you wear a red button around you and have that in my room. So if something does happen at night, um, Joey take plates off so that I can press an alarm so someone can come. But I found that um, the last four nights, since since not having my bed with me, um, no phone with me in my bed, um, it's better because it gives me a chance to shut off shut off from media um they don't appreciate how they don't because the thing is if they are um because they take they take 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 this is my life my livelihood and then if i say to you could you after i've spoken to them for about an hour and a half giving them advice and service and it's not a thing and then i go and they go thank you very much for that that's that's fine um can you do a tip to my paypal tip jar please so what they do they say thank you which is fine, and at least they've given me a thank you, and I love you, Julie, and that's really good, and they, and they do thank you. But unfortunately, a thank you doesn't pay the bills. And this is where I've got to, why now um, I've got to start doing the boundary, is because I've always just said to people, oh, that's fine, give me a hug, give me a love, or post something of mine onto your page so we get an, a, a, an actual you know because if someone goes oh i spoke to julie she really helped me and she's got this awesome mentoring um program i recommend you join it that'd be great because then i'm creating clients and things but people you know but they don't realize that um that uh, a thank you is lovely it's a lovely exchange because money is a form of exchange it's but but hugs are lovely to receive but they don't pay the bills so this is why i'm doing this um life coaching how i can start learning to put up boundaries and being it's not cruel to be kind but to let people realize that um yes i'm here to serve people and i love it and i love spending time talking to people and like i said just chatting is is lovely but when i start talking for about an hour and a half and i've realized i've just given them an hour and a half of my time of mentorship 
and then all my other business and, and, and coming on and, and it's just like, well, you know, if you can come to me for chatting and I've mentored you for an hour and a half and that's like, I do three sessions of hour long sessions. That's 200 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. And I go, well, my sessions, three three lots of hour long sessions is 200 quid. And so uh, that's what roughly, you know, uh, I don't know, I can't work it out. 50, 60 pounds, three, six, 80, 65 pounds for an hour session. But you don't just get the hour, you get homework and things like that. So these people are having an hour and a half of my time for free. And it's just like, it's not going to happen anymore. And that's it. Yeah, someone messaged you and you go, I'm just off to bed. Okay, well, can I ask you? And I go, look, I'm, I'm in bed. And people don't rec accept your boundaries. And this is why I've decided I'm not. And this is what I used to do on the Facebook. Go, good night, everyone. I'm going to bed now. And then someone messaged you. And then you have a chat and you chat and chat. And you realize two hours have passed. So boundaries, boundaries. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um like i said i've got just about an hour to prepare for this um life coaching thing um i mean if you have an email address um mind you i don't know whether i can do that because it belongs to erica but i was going to say if you have an email i could send you out these but it's been quite eye-opening it was you know just it, it didn't take me very long it took me about half an hour i suppose i could have thought about it a bit better but it was really was an eye opener and uh, and sort of helped focus. And it helped me realize last night where I was going wrong. <laughs> so boundaries taking control. Um, so what I think I might do, um, I'm thinking about it, is maybe do some of the chat rooms. So people can come on. So rather than just do the live Mad Julie. So you can actually take part in the world of Mad Julie. Now that would be awesome. And we could all have a chat together because it worked out really well. It was really good. We didn't know what we were doing. I And the girl who was running it, like I said, she'd never done it before. I'd never joined a, 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 a Facebook chat group before. So I think they're trying to take over from Zoom. Because it's like, oh, Everyone's talking on Zoom. We're missing out on a market here. Let's create our own chat rooms. But I haven't quite sussed out how to invite people into it. So, <laughs> so cup of the day is at the moment a glass of tonic water because I've finished off all those wonderful juices. So um, sometime, um, probably after my, my um, counselling session with the lovely Erica, looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to try and nip down to Lidl and get some more because I'm sort of running out of fruit and veg because that's all I seem to be eating now um, and my special drinks. So wishing you all an awesome day. It wasn't completely mad today. I just thought I'd just pop on and have a chat. And I've been chatting for half an hour. I was only going to come on for 10 minutes. This is my problem. I don't stop. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Thank you, Anastasia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll, um, yeah. Uh, control copy. Thank you. Um, when I've taken it, uh, and then I'll, um, I'll forward you those charts. It's really worth it, actually, just to fill it out and give you a little think about where you're spending all your time or not enough time and what's missing from your life. And then it's like, right, OK, how can I realign it to to be more beneficial to me? And yes, it's good to be a service of everyone else, but you've got to remember to be a service to yourself as well. That would be fantastic, Anastasia. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, that's an exchange. You know, um, I chat and give you because you can learn from everyone, even from your your students who on the first day, they can teach you. So even though you're the teacher, you're also the student. You're all students. We're all teachers because, you know, loads of stuff about one thing. I know loads of stuff so we can exchange it, which is really, really brilliant. So we're all students and we're all teachers and never think just because. 
uh, and, and just think sometimes um, you go to a teacher because they're further along the path. But one day I was back here. And it's just that I started my journey before you. So, you know, we, we, we both start here and then we both move along, move along. And sometimes you go there and stuff like that. But never, but don't think you don't know anything. I'll talk to you later, Anastasia. Bye. But, um, yeah, we can all learn from each other. So I'm going to love you and leave you because I've got an hour now to get myself ready for this special session. Thank you, everyone who joined me because people were coming on and on. For nothing I said, I don't know who has joined me. Um, so love you all and I'll catch you all tomorrow for a uh, Mad Julie Friday. <laughs> And remember boundaries. And when you serve other, don't forget to serve yourself. Love you. Excellent. We'll, we'll work together. We'll work together and we'll help build your um, business for you and get that rolling for you. OK. And uh, I don't know everything. I know very little, but I can give you a few tips of things that I found that worked and things that didn't work. And when things don't work, that's great. You know not to do it again. But if you find something works, keep doing that what works. So even if something didn't work and, and failed, it's not good. It's not a failure. It's just like now's not the time. It might work in six months time or maybe it will never work. But good, at least you tried it. And at least you tried. So, yeah, let's work on your ideas and see how we can push things for you. Love you all. Have a super awesome afternoon. And uh, Jordan Patterson. Is that someone you read? Uh, is that a book you can recommend? I'll see you all later. Love you all and uh, have an awesome day. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.